All right, scholars, so here we go. And this is how simple this is really when you find the area of a triangle. The area of the triangle, again, if I know two sides and the included angle, I can just go 1 half base, or B, times C, times the sine of A. Now, what in the world is that value going to be? Well, if I'm looking at this, I'd probably let 19 be B. Well, that means the other side's automatically C, and your angle is 35. So sine, angle, sine. You see how I enclose it? So we just go 1 half of 19 times 10 times the sine of 35 degrees. Now, I like simplifying before I punch it into the calculator, but if you do that, you should end up getting 1 half of 10 is 5. 5 times 19 should be like 95 times the sine of 35 degrees. But you don't have to do that. You could go straight to the bottom step. And I want this to the nearest tenth. So let's punch it into our calculator. Um, we're going to go 95 times the sine of 35. So that's going to be 54.5 square centimeters. Now, or let's do it like what most people will do. A lot of people skip that middle step. You just go, go 0 0.5 times 19 times 10 times the sine of 35. And what do you get? 54.5 square centimeters. All right, same idea here. Now, on this one, someone asked, what's B, C, and A? Well, make it so you understand where B, C, and A. I always let B be my base in my head, so I automatically turn it to look like this. So the instant I do that, I go, oh, here's B, here's C, and here's A. Now, if I, you feel like it, go ahead and just work the problem going this way. I'm going to switch it because I can tell what values I wrote. But I still, just like any area of formula, I expect you to write it down every time. So I get 1 half, my base, or B was this time 10, my other side is 18, and then I get the sine of 35 degrees. For some reason, I'm really liking this 35. So then we just got to plug it in. I'm going to go 0 0.5 for 1 half, times 10, times 18, times the sine of 35. What do we get here? 51.6 square kilometers. It could help you out quite a bit. All right, let's do the next one. Again, this is just where the angle's on the other side, but wouldn't we let this one be the base, so I'm going to let that one be B. This will be C, and my angle <laughs> is 42. Again, write your formula down. It's 1 half B, C, sine A. And the cool thing is if you forget, you could do like we did on the last page. We could calculate the height and plug it into the other formula for the area of a triangle. So again, I get 1 half, B is going to be 24, C is 12, and then I get the sine of 42 degrees. So let's punch that one into our calculator. 0.5 for 1 half times 24 times 12 times the sine of 42. So we get here, that's going to be 96.4 square centimeters. See how we get that with our area? It's not that bad. So last but not least, again, you could choose, I don't care which one's B. I've had people choose this one B, this one C, B and C. Basically, it doesn't matter as long as it surrounds your angle. Okay, which one's B, C, and A? A just has to be the included angle. So I get 1 half B, C, sine A, you plug it in. So I get 1 half B is 5. C is 4, and then I get the sine of 65 degrees. All right? So I get 1 half of 20. Well, let's just don't do that. I'll just plug it into the calculator instead. 0.5 times 5 times 4 times the sine of 65. We end up getting here 9.1 square feet. All right, guys, that's how you calculate the area of a triangle when you know side, angle, side. Hopefully that's a little helpful.